Welcome to the second video of SQL Server Denali always on NextGen HDR solution setup series. Uh, in this setup we will be looking at the part 2 which is configure Windows 2008 auto domain controller. Here is my domain controller. At this point of time I can see IP6 enable and two IP addresses are there. Uh, use the server manager from here to start it. Let's check the network connection first. Two quick things. So I have uh, those other IP address which I explained before what this NIC do. So look at the first video if you need to know. I'll go ahead and disable them since they are having DHCP IP addresses and I don't want to use them. So these two NIC cards are having the value set at 11.1.1.1 as described in the network diagram before. I'll just go ahead and disable the IPv4 for both these network cards. It's not a must, it's just that keeps things simple. Alright, so let's start configuring domain controller. Select Active Directory Domain Services. Next, uh, pretty simple process. Uh, one more thing, let's get back to the network setting where I would like to change the network priority before I start the wizard. Once you are here, click the Alt button. Menu will show up. Go to Advanced Setting and make sure your domain NIC is on top. This will make the installation faster. Close. Uh, I could have a start from there. I'll do it there. TC. Now we are configuring the domain controller. We want to install DNS. Create new domain. FDK address would be doc.com for this series. Alright, we'll choose the default option. Press OK. Configuration completed. Click on finish and now restart. Well, box is restarted. Let's look at the roles. We have DNS server here. Let's connect to the domain. Configure the DNS server. Click on the forest option. Doc.com. Again, click on all forest option for rivers. Well, we got it configured right. Okay with the warnings. Let's look at doc. Click on properties. Go to name server. Set it. Remove these IP6 entries since we don't need them. Just makes things easy. Zone transfer allows on transfer and choose the name server tab. We'll have to configure the reverse lookup since it did not work out well last time. Click on forest, IP4 lookup. Next. 
Alright, so IP4 is configured. Click on properties, named servers, added validate. Yes, correct entries are there. Go to zone transfer, allow zone transfers, and pick the name server tabs. We are good. It's configured. Let's validate. Let's validate. Well, this looks we configured it right. Uh, we're good to go. Let's that's all for the day. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in next video where do the preparation for clusters.